Good evening, another Iron Monday has come and gone. Um, things are pretty busy right now. Uh, I've got a paper due tomorrow, uh, which is why, of course, I'm doing anything but writing that paper. It's uh, just my nature at this point. I think I should just learn to accept it, I think. Uh, but I'm just feeling really nervous. Uh, I mean, okay. It's stupid to be nervous with the paper because grades don't matter. And it's not going to be a terrible paper. And if it really is terrible, I can always rewrite it. I'm allowed to do that. Same thing for the paper next week. The first draft doesn't matter. It's like, I don't know. I guess I'm not so much anxious that I'll do something wrong. It's just I've got all to do these in the next few weeks that I don't want to do. So I think it's just making me stressed because I don't want to do them, but I have to do them. And it just makes me anxious. And then you just add into that, okay, it's already November, right? My birthday, come up in uh, less than two weeks. Uh, I'm going to be up here, which means I'm going to be alone. Now, the flip side is Thanksgiving is shortly after my birthday. Then on Thanksgiving, I'll be in New York. I'll be with everyone. I'll even be with Mako. But then, you know, what are we going to do? Is everything going to work out? Um, is it going to be too cold for her? Is the weather going to suck? Uh, are we going to get to do the things that she wants to do? I mean, I know. You know I, I know she wants to see me. I'm not I'm not so paranoid that I think something's going to happen that's going to make her upset at me. But, I don't know. I've just got a lot going on right now. And it's starting to make me uneasy. And I feel silly about that because none of it is really that essential I mean my birthday who gives a fuck whatever <laughs> it's okay it's a big birthday but that's not that's not a big deal Thanksgiving I'm gonna be home I'm going to have a good time I'm gonna see Michael for the first time in six months that's happy time that's not nervous time that should be happy time I don't know I'm just you know what it comes down to? And this is going to be weird. This evening uh, in movie class, we watched Citizen Kane. Now, I've seen the movie before, uh, so no real surprises. But I hadn't seen it in a long time. And it was really impressive to see it again. And, you know, because I'd like to think that every year I get a little more savvy when it comes to movie going. You know, there are movies I used to love 10, 15 years ago that now when I watch them, kind of like... Ugh, this really this is not a good movie. I see what I liked about it, but this movie has major problems. So I liked the fact that I saw this movie that everyone says is a great movie, and I got it. You know, I got, I could see what I could see elements to it that were exhilarating. But then, of course, there's also little things. You know, uh, I don't know if you're aware or not, but you know, when Orson Welles made that movie, he was 25, maybe 26. Uh, and his life sort of took a gradual downward spiral from that point on. So I look at that, I look at that movie that he accomplished, and he put it, you know, he made this movie, he's pretty much, pretty much he's, he is that movie, you know, I mean, writing, directing, producing, starring. And I look at me, and I've got, you know, my 30th birthday coming up. I'm a senior in college. I don't know. I guess... I guess we all can't... We can't all be Orson Welles. But, uh... I think, uh... As time marches on steadily and seemingly faster every week, I guess I'm just getting a little nervous. I don't know. I guess I always expected more <laughs> by this point. But whatever, you know, I don't know. Things are going well. I mean, honestly. I mean, I got the test back. I got, you know, every grade I get in school is fine. More than fine. Really better than I expected. Before you know it, I'll have graduated. And before you know it, I'll be back in Japan somewhere doing something. 
I guess I just got a little... I've got some genius envy going right now when I see things that are happening on the in the world. And I just feel like, why, why am I not doing those things? And the election tomorrow? I don't know what to think of that election tomorrow. I mean, if major changes don't occur, will I be disappointed? Will I be surprised? I don't even... That's the weird part. I don't know if I'll be surprised if nothing happens tomorrow. If everything just continues the way it was. Will that even surprise me at this point? You know what? This is going on a long time. And I really, I really need to get to this paper. So, have a good night.